Hey, this is Patrick from Frontly. Today, I'm going to talk about how to get the most out of our AI generation prompting system. To learn how to use the prompts correctly, to add the right amount of detail, and all of these other little features, allows you to get a lot more value out of Frontly and generating these initial apps that you can then go in and use and make changes to. So to start, I'd like to articulate the value of adding the right amount of detail to a prompt. Let's start by giving this AI very, very little detail and we'll see what it comes up with. I'm gonna start by just typing in inventory management. It's basically a category of app, but I haven't really told it anything about the problem I'm trying to solve or my business or anything like that. So AI is now asking me, what specific features do I want? Now, I could go into a lot of detail, but in this case, I'm going to show you what happens if I don't. I'm just going to say, um, I have tools like wrenches and hammers, and that's all I'm going to say. Now, you can see it's decided to generate the app. We've given it very little information, and so it looks like it's given us one page called tools with a table and a chart and a stat and a chart and a spreadsheet called tools. I'm gonna let it generate and let's go see what this looks like. So if we go into the live app, you can see that we have a table with some tools and some stats and charts. Now, there's really nothing wrong with this. It's just, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty basic and that's fine. If, if I didn't really have a particular vision for the app and I just wanted to see what AI would generate, then you know, that's, that's totally fine. We've got a little filter here um, for category, but they're all in the same category, so it doesn't do anything. And so let's go back. Um, let's, try a, let's try a brand new chat, and let's try something very, very detailed. Let's say um, I run a trucking business, and I have five trucks. I need to manage their locations, distances driven, the drivers who are currently in each truck, and the daily hours worked by each driver, including check in time and check out time. Now, Let's see what the AI decides to do with this. I think it was pretty specific. It still leaves a lot to be sort of decided by AI in terms of what kind of features, uh, what kind of, uh, you know, you can see we have two different tables, uh, a map, and two more tables. And then we have a bunch of different spreadsheets. So again, it actually did a pretty good job. Um, the spreadsheets are pretty well articulating the values that I would hope to be recording in this app, but you can see that by default, AI quite often tends to just add tables. Tables are a great you know, functional block that is quite universal, but for that reason, AI often decides that's a great, uh, that's a great block to choose, and you might not always want a table. Um, it's, it's fine, but one thing that you can learn about generating apps with Frontly is that if you are specific about the kind of block that you want, you'll probably get it. And if you're vague, you'll probably end up with tables and sometimes if there's some data specific blocks, like if you ask for something around timing, you might get a calendar. Uh, but if you're really specific, you'll pretty much definitely get a calendar. So let's, let's try one more chat and I'll show you what I mean. So let's grab a similar prompt. So let's say I have five trucks in my trucking company and I want to see the uh, calendar of shipping dates and a map of truck locations. A little simpler of a prompt, but you can notice I said calendar and map. Now let's see if the AI listens to me. Do you want to track the locations of the trucks in real time? Uh, yes, sure. All right, let's see what happens. 
Okay, so I have two pages and as I guessed, it's a calendar and a map. So just by saying what I wanted and having a bit of an idea about the kinds of apps and blocks that Frontly has available, um, I was able to skip that step. Now I don't have to go in and make those changes. I can just say, looks great, and the data is going to be set up properly. You can see we even have a latitude and longitude field in my truck locations because I asked for a map. OpenAI and Frontly are able to figure out that your map data needs to have those fields in order to be successfully you know, visible and functional. So if we go into our shipping calendar, you can see we have some information on this calendar. We can check out the truck locations and there we go. We've got trucks all over the world apparently. So very cool, nice, simple trucking app. And that's all I'm gonna share in this video, but I just wanted to articulate the value of you know, your, your level of detail in your prompts. And I just recommend trying over and over, trying different things, trying different ways of describing things if you're finding that you're not getting what you want. And if you ever feel like you're not sure and you want some help, just message our team. Our support chat is available in the bottom corner of any window. And we're more than happy to talk to you and see if we can help figure out how to optimize these prompts and your, your resulting apps. Thanks for watching.